Internet na your right radio drama brought to you by Paradigm Initiative. Is it just my phone? I just don't do anything to do. I thought it was just me. Oh. Some social media apps and other websites I open are not going through. Oh, more. This thing's serious. Oh. Let's ask Kelechi if she has data to share hotspot. Let's see if it's our network. Okay, she dead kitchen. Kelechi! Kelechi! I'm coming, oh! Let me get this last rice out of the fire, Biko. Eh, uh-huh. Alpha, do you have network on your phone? Share hotspot with us, I beg. I don't have internet, oh. Since yesterday, Seth. There has been no network. Now, wow. These service providers have come again. Wait, oh. Are you sure it is the usual service issue? Or is it a network disruption? Which one is network disruption again? You have come again. Theorist. I'm bad theorist. Ah, you don't know? Know what, Kwanu? You have come again. See, sometimes, the power that be intentionally shuts down the whole internet or just part of it for various reasons. Aside from Ikelechi that thinks the internet is just for learning new recipes, you probably don't know that others use the internet to share information during major happenings. It can be elections or protests. So the internet can be shut down to not allow this information sharing. Mm, I agree. Really? But does it ever happen? It happened so. In 2021, authorities deliberately shut down the internet at least 182 times across 34 countries. And a lot of that was in Africa, self. But is that a bad thing? Of course. In fact, the internet as it is has become a human rights issue. Which kind of yeah, human rights? Chere, chere, chere. You agreed some minutes ago with what Sam said. I now agree. It is your right. Without the internet, you cannot do banking. You cannot book flights. You cannot even watch TV. You cannot even send messages. Most businesses will be shut down. So, you see how bad it will be? Access to information too is very important. Especially during serious times. How else will people know where to go? Where to avoid? Lack of information can cause unrest. And full agitation. Mm, you are making sense, so what do we do now? Let me check Ayeta. You remember Ayeta.Africa that I downloaded that year? And it has many resources. It covers digital safety, digital security, common password attack, two factor authentication, and many other things. Biko, what are all these tech tech things you are saying? I am just scrolling through Ayeta. It's a resource. These are the things it covers. Yes, I have seen what I'm looking for. VPN. What is VPN, Kwanu? It allows you to access the internet if it has been blocked indeed. That's right. Read this part. It shows you how to even use it. So now, when we use VPN, what do we do? Report it on Reporty. Reporty? Yes, Reporty.Africa. Any digital violation that happens can be reported there. Data breach, oh, online intimidation and violence, oh, arrests that came from a digital violation and many more. Hmm. I hope this coming election, they will let the internet stay on. Because Everything has to go smoothly. Before, during and after the elections. We can't afford any disruption during that period. But now that our internet is bad, let's try VPN and see. I still have a VPN on my phone. Let me try that now and see if it works. Eh uh-huh. you said the site is reporty.africa, right? Because spell it. R-I-P-O-T-I dot Africa. That's it. Got it. Finally, Kelechi is not only interested in recipes. This plantain looks good though. James, leave that place. Make I test just one now. No. I beg it. No. I beg you. Internet and Your Right Radio Drama was produced by Paradigm Initiative with support from the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands. For information and feedback, you can send us email on topmedia at paradigmhq.org or you can follow us on social media at paradigmhq.